Jordan 1 tie-dye and your own custom tie-dye t-shirt. you guys enjoyed that epic little b-roll piece of the Jordan 1 tie-dye. Now the Jordan 1 tie-dye is a women's exclusive and there's no real story behind this sneaker besides for the fact that it's the first time tie-dye has ever been done on leather on a Jordan 1 high. And you don't really see this kind of look on a sneaker so we thought it would be pretty cool to make a matching shirt using emerald green and I think it was royal blue. Match is pretty cool. The sneaker, the shirt, and a pair of black jeans. What a hit. And for those wondering, we did lace them up with a pair of white laces just to have a look. Unfortunately, the tie-dye doesn't come with any extra laces. It's just a single black pair of laces. If you've ever bought women's exclusive Jordan 1s, you'd know that the laces aren't a normal Jordan 1 lace. It's kind of like a hollow tube that's flattened out and it can kind of you know, bend and move any way. And most Jordan 1s for women don't come with extra laces. So it would have been pretty awesome if they included white laces with it, or maybe the Aurora color that they refer to for the girls. So before I get into the sneak and show you the fabric, I managed to pick mine up at Shersha. Now, when it comes to women's exclusives especially, Shesha is one of the only stores in South Africa that goes up to a UK 8. Nike releases women's Jordan 1s up to generally a 9, 10, 11, you know, for, for women with larger feet, especially the basketball players. But most stores in South Africa only come up to UK 7. No idea why that is, so for the guys that have got up to a UK 8, Shesha is the only store that you're going to be able to get your hands on a pair of these. And for the collectors and sneakerheads out there, the shoe is reselling at about $350 to $450, depending on where you want to pick it up now, if you've missed out. So starting at the bottom of the shoe, you have a black sole. So it's awesome to rock the sneaker. You've got a white midsole with white stitching, which looks super clean on the shoe. Then you've got a black toe box, which has got a, a pretty plush leather. It doesn't have that perfect supple look like you would get on the shattered backboards or the UNC de Chicago's, but it's still a fairly softish leather and it still feels really premium, even though it feels a little bit harder. You've got the exact same leather that goes on into the white underneath the Nike Swoosh. Nike Swoosh is the exact same leather as well, all the way up into the heel collar. On the inside of the heel collar, you have a silk material, which is very different from the normal Jordan 1 fabric. And moving up into the tongue, it's the normal synthetic fabric that you get on a Jordan 1 tongue with a white Nike Air tab. Now getting to the cool part of the shoe is the tie-dye. Now this is actual leather. It's the first time Nike has ever tie-dyed leather like this on a Jordan 1. And this isn't some other material. Now the tie-dye does seem to be a little bit more painted on. Now I don't want to say painted on like it's going to crack off, but you can see it's got a kind of a slightly cracked feel to it. Crack might not be a good word, maybe a rough texture, but in some parts you can see where the dye actually takes to the leather will leave a bit of a open crack or piece. So I don't think it's something that's going to ever peel off. This looks really, really solid. And even when you, you bend the toe box, you don't get a horrible crack increase in the tie dye. Now one of the reasons why I truly think this is a cool sneaker is if you do understand tie-dye and the tie-dye genre if we could call it that it's very customizable and everyone that has got something tie-dyed or tie-dyed it personally it can never look the same you cannot mimic tie-dye when it's actually been dyed unless it's a print 
So with these, what's actually happening is, all this leather has been tie-dyed. So not a single pair of Jordan 1 tie-dyes looks the same. Every single pair is unique. So I think going into the tie-dye genre and the people that love tie-dye so much, I think this is such an epic hit for tie-dye lovers. I hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, let me know in the comments below if you managed to pick up a pair of Jordan 1 tie-dyes. And also let me know if you think it looks sicker with the black laces or the white laces. So until the next one, which will be the Jordan 11 Concord Breads, wherever you are in the world, have a good day, good evening, good night, goodbye.